We're Monica and Gia and we're from Tiki and today we will be doing Western versus Korean makeup. Stick to the end of the video for a chance to win some Joseon Minya sunscreen and some Daisy lip products. Yeah, so exciting! <laughs> okay, let's start! Okay, <laughs> so Monica today will be doing the Western makeup and I will be doing Korean makeup, although it does look like maybe we should do the opposite <laughs> because she's definitely more Korean coded today. Mm -hmm. I feel very more Western, but... I wish I had the tan. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you're back in Europe, you'll, you'll have it back. Hopefully. Right now, Korea, it's very rainy, so there's no yeah. sun, but why don't we begin yeah. despite that? Yeah. So in Korea, it's, it's just very common for Koreans to just use like a very easily portable compact cushion. They always have it in their purses. It's always like good on the go. So. Yeah, and I see girls all the time like fixing their makeup, especially after food, like all the time. While in the West, no one really cares that much. I think I think in the West, maybe you like you pack a lot of on, you have like lots of like powder. So like you're just like set, ready to go. But in Korea, because they kind of want it more natural, I think like that's why they always like have time to like add more, like fix it throughout yeah. the day. Okay, so in the West, actually, mostly, I feel like a lot of people just use um, foundation that is a little bit darker than their skin, especially for like some special events. It never should be lighter or like not really even your own skin color because once they take photos with the flash, you want to appear like a little bit more tan, especially if you use some like fake tanning spray or something like that. So today I'll be also using a foundation that is a little bit darker than my skin color. So let's see. In Korea, it's quite the opposite where in Korea, it's actually so funny because when I was in Europe, whenever like Asians and and Westerners would go like picnicking together all the Asians would stay under the shade under the tree just so they wouldn't get tan and all the Westerners are like oh like I need the yeah. sun on my skin I gotta look tanner but in Asia definitely like a lighter skin is more preferred because it makes you look like brighter more yeah. awake more like youthful so I think they always try to get like a, a cushion or like a foundation shade that's like a bit brighter mm -hmm. than their actual skin So next is eyebrows. In Korea, it's very common for us to also just use like a little pencil and usually the shape is also quite like straight because it also makes you like appear a bit youthful. And I think because a lot of Koreans, they want to kind of balance out, I guess, like the roundness of the face. <laughs> How is it like in Western countries? I feel like the most popular trend, like one of the most popular trends was the Anastasia Beverly yes. Hills yeah. But the thing was that you really wanted like a really strong um, shape of the eyebrow. I feel like that's also like the trend that was more popular maybe like three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. These days it's getting like more and more natural. They also have like the, the soap brow, you know? Yeah, true, mm -hmm. true. But definitely it's still not as natural as here, so I also use it for my Okay, so let's now do the eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this one. Uh, actually, there isn't like much difference when it comes to eyeliners here and in the West. Um, at least the black ones, they're pretty much the same. Um, and I always use the black eyeliner and I make it like, uh, I guess from what I've seen, a bit longer than Koreans because I feel like my face is bigger and also that's what I'm pretty used to. Yeah, in Korea, I think it's also more common for them to use instead of like kind of like the wet like eyeliner, like more like a drier pencil and kind of just like making it kind of like close to like the waterline, mm -hmm. like not making it like too pointy, I guess. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of Western liners, they might be a bit more like dramatic and pointy mm -hmm. to kind of emphasize the eyes. Whereas in Korea, I think it's like a bit softer. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like my eyes, but like just a bit, a bit like more awake. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done dramatic eyeliner because I just know I'm not good at it. Really? Just to be perfect or 
or else like choosing eyeshadows immediately the packaging is already different mine's like pink yeah. and hers is like gray it's very important to do the bottom of your eyes as well for like the ego star so kind of your mm -hmm. eye bags because they want it to pop out <gasps> you know what i mean mm. she ain't korean wait because you were born in the states right i was born in america but then like middle school and high school for too long <laughs> But I feel like that's a thing. I don't know if you know Joan Day. Same mascara. But mm -hmm. uh, Korean eyelashes are always very straight. Yeah. But for me, like even if it's like the, I try so super. Our cool. eyelashes are done, and that, now let's do the blush. Blush. And we can talk about it after we pick. Okay. Oh, yours looks definitely different than mine. How did you do it? I think in Asia, it's also quite common for us to kind of put it like more under the eyes. Like it's kind of like here, like kind of like on the like the tips of our cheeks. Whereas in the West, maybe it's a bit different. It's a little bit more like, kind of like the contouring, but it's not completely the same because it should be like above the contour line. But it's more like we don't do it as in like ground or like under the eyes, but it's more like goes like this mm. in this angle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel like it looks different. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Maybe speaking of contour, maybe we should use the giveaway items to maybe contour like a bit. Okay. I think in Asia, definitely contouring is not as heavy. Like, usually we use these types of sticks where I think a lot of powders are more used in the West. Yeah, so true. For us, I think it's very minimal. Like, we just go on the nose, maybe a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, I actually don't do that much contouring, only to my nose. And it depends because some people in the West like to do like very strong contour on the cheeks while I don't really and some of my friends also don't do uh, much contouring just because they are too lazy Yeah, and yeah. I relate to that but um, if they do some contouring here then it's usually more like very like dark shades and it has to be pretty strong okay. mm. That's good. Last but not least I think we have lip yeah. Mm. What What do you think are the main differences in lips compared to Korea and more? Actually, this is my biggest struggle in Korea. The unfortunately in Korea, there's not a lot of like very nude colors. Even if the lip tint says like nude, it usually is kind of like goes into like very like pinkish or orangey tones, mostly orangey and not actually brown. I have never found any like actual lip tint or lip gloss that would be brown, which is what I like. Maybe because I'm used to it, but also a lot of people tell me that it matches me much better rather than like the red or pink colors that are like stronger and are supposed to make you look, I feel like more like girly. Yeah, I think a lot of the tint, like even when, like when we were younger, like it would be like a big trend to use like the water tints and like very like red. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of like parents would joke like oh it's like you like bit into like an animal because <laughs> it's so red and yeah. like so bright but i think now it's definitely like it's more orangey now like because i think they really like kind of like the bright look actually for my uh lip gloss it's almost finished like there is very little left because i brought it from uh the west because here they don't even sell this it's yeah. just like that yeah so i checked and only online you can buy them and they're so much more expensive than um back in poland because so. i think this brand i think it's like known to be like a drugstore brand like it's very yeah. like accessible like a lot yeah. of people usually can just get it anywhere mm. but i think here it's definitely a lot harder because there's so many like road shops and like other mm. brands where 
they usually only have stuff like this but it's yeah. probably harder for people that are looking for like a deeper color yeah there is a lot of lip tints in korea but not never brown colors mm -hmm. like western countries maybe they have like a more of a full lip whereas yeah. in asia it's like usually like the gradation lip like a bit more in the oh, middle yeah. and kind of like more juicy looking yeah. <laughs> now actually i can see the difference like now we look western and korean <laughs> this is our makeup i hope you guys like it comment below if you can see an immediate difference between the two mm -hmm. and which one maybe you prefer or maybe like there are certain techniques that you borrow from each you know something that you would use in the future maybe let's see <laughs> and now let's talk about our special giveaway yay these are the products that you can win and this is the basic lip pencil three people will win two colors also three people will win this beauty of johnson uh, sunscreen so participate and check out the rules below in our description yeah thank you for watching and may the odds be in your favor <laughs> good luck thank you bye, bye.